Hello you guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm really happy you guys are tuning in today. What I'm going to be showing you all is how to create these really beautiful magenta crystal press-on nails. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So like normal, I already went ahead and buffed the nails out. So now I'm just going to take some alcohol and a lint-free wipe to clean them up. So that way the base coat doesn't get, you know, all bumpy and just gross with all the dust on it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Next for my base coat, I'm going to be going in with this one from Beatles. If you guys are looking or are in the market for a really good base gel, I really do recommend this one. As of right now, it hasn't given me any issues, so if you're starting to learn how to do nails, I'd really recommend this one. Or even if you have done nails and you haven't tried this yet, I would say give it a try. It's really, really good. If any of you are following along at home or you're making your own nail set at home, just make sure you are cleaning up the sides of the nails to make sure that you're maintaining that shape and the gel isn't making it look bulky. Leave a comment down below too if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I shape my press on nails, whether it being stiletto, coffin, or straight. Just you know, let me know down below. I don't mind doing that for you guys if that's something you guys want to see. Next, as you guys can see, I'm going in with my RER JSM Nude Polish in the shade T Rose 541. And for this, I'm just going to be building up that color, which I believe it only took me about two coats to fully build it up. But yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch me paint on this first coat. I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds, and then I'll come back after I got that second coat on and cured. Alright you guys, here are the nails after building them up with two coats of that nude polish. Now I'm going to go in with this bright white shade from Beatles and I'm going to be adding that color to about almost half the nail I would say from like the tip of the nail. And then with my ombre brush with some top coat on it, I'm going to be going in and creating this like feathered like effect with that white polish and I'm going to be pulling it upwards almost as if we're doing an ombre but it's not an ombre. Just adding like a feathered effect if that makes sense. But yeah, you guys are going to see that coming up right now once I start feathering it up out outward. Before feathering out that color, I did just want to show you guys the brush that I'm going to be using for this. And it looks like this. It's basically a flat brush that has these really tiny longer hairs coming out of it in order to pick and pull colors a lot more softly. This is my first time using this brush. I really do actually like it. I feel like it picks up the color really well, not too much at a time, just enough to kind of, you know, it creates more of a feathered outlook. Now after curing that nail, we're going to go ahead and repeat all of those steps again to create a second coat and build up that color. Oh, and you guys, a little TikTok update. I recently changed my number because I was getting a lot of scam callers and I was having this issue where I went to unlink my old number off of TikTok to add my new one and I couldn't unlink it because I didn't have the verification code that was getting sent to my old number. Anyway, flash forward, I get in contact with someone from TikTok support and they basically told me that there was nothing they could do. And so unfortunately I had to deactivate my TikTok, but I did create a new one, which is at styled by Selena with two A's. 
case any of you wanted to look me up on there for extra content I'm honestly still so sad about it you guys because I really wanted to get a thousand followers on there to start going live and I believe I was at like 750 already and now I'm gonna have to start at ground zero again but it's okay everything happens for a reason I don't know what that reason is but everything happens for a reason you know so with that being said I would really appreciate it if you guys can go and follow my TikTok to help me build up that following again because I really really do want to make lives and like connect with you guys more often And you guys, these nails may be looking a little rough right now, but I promise you, top coat saves the day every time. Also, leave a comment down below what you guys are going to be getting into this weekend. For me, I feel like I'm going to spend most of the weekend just being inside, but on Friday, I'm really super excited because me and my boyfriend are going to be going to see Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa in concert so that's super super exciting I haven't gone out or like to a concert since like maybe a little before the pandemic I kind of forget but yeah I think the last person I saw was I want to say Post Malone yeah that year I saw probably like Ariana Grande Jennifer Lopez and Post Malone all in the same year which was also the year I was working three jobs so Shout out to your hardworking girl right here. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I'm super excited about the concert coming up. I got my boyfriend tickets for the concert for his birthday, so that's why we're going. So yeah, let me know what you guys got going on this weekend. Leave a comment down below too who the last artist was you guys have seen in concert. Uh, I forgot to mention too that another person I saw within that year of like Ariana Grande and like the rest of them was Khalid. And you guys, Khalid's visuals are really top tier like I loved his concert everything about it it was just straight vibes from beginning to end if none of you have gone to a concert before I really do highly recommend it it is very very fun and it is such an experience depending on who you go see Okay, now that those nails are dried from being in the nail lamp for 60 seconds, I'm gonna go in with my Beatles top coat and giving all of those nails a light, even layer. This right here is probably my favorite part. Look how it turns those nails looking so smooth instead of being harsh from doing that feather effect. It looks so good, you guys. It's gonna look even better once we put those crystals on top of it, so. Stay tuned for that in a few seconds. And again, you guys, before curing the nails, make sure you're cleaning up the sides. And I'm gonna be carrying these for 60 seconds. All right, so I just took these babies out of the lamp and now we're gonna wipe them down with some alcohol again and a lint-free wipe. Going in with the crystals now, I'm going to be using this McCart rhinestone glue. As you guys saw in today's video thumbnail, they are going to be more magenta. So these are the crystals right here that I picked out. I'm going to be doing one unique like shaped crystal on each nail and then the, on the rest I'm going to be putting like circular magenta crystals. So for this one, for the pinky, I'm using a more triangular diamond shape for this nail. And for my bigger magenta crystals that are circular, I'm going to be using these ones right here from this set. And this one, I believe I got it off Shein. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. And for my smaller circular charms, I'm going to be using this one right here. My last video was a nail supply haul from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure to check that out. But I am using this from that haul. Now for my ring finger, I'm going to be putting on this heart crystal. And you guys, the main crystals I'm using, like even the triangular or like diamond shaped one we used on the pinky, all the main ones that we're using that are different shapes are going to be magenta, but in different parts of the light, they do look like yellow greenish toned, which I think does add like a little bit, you know, of more color onto the nails in general, but they are mostly magenta. just. Keep in mind that these ones that I'm using right here do give off that more 
green yellow reflection in the light. Now after putting on those crystals, we're going to put these in the nail lamp to dry for 45 seconds. Now for filing, I'm going to be going in with my Holy Grail file from Pana, which this one right here is their 80 grit file. I'm going to be using this to sharpen up the ends of our nails. Using my Lavinda handheld electric file, I'm going to be going in with my Pana safety bit just to clean up underneath the nails. As always, we're going to be setting that to forward at 10 RPMs. And that right there, you guys, is how I made these super cute magenta crystal nails. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please stick around and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It would help out the channel so, so much, you guys. And I appreciate your guys' support always. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I will see you all next week for the next one. Bye for now.